Hello, how we doing? Oh, my hat's around the wrong way and everything. Hello. Got all of here and Olivia as well today. Hello. So we're on the beach. Oi, oi, how we doing? How we doing? Oi, oi. Aye, aye. Aye, Captain. <laughs> we've reeled in our first Mine is rig. Olivia's. Mine and we've got Olivia's. two white ends. So we've got two white ends today Mine at the moment so far. Mine and Olivia's. Right, cool. Um, I'm, um, the fish is sliding away. I'm fishing this twitchy tip species hunt today. Uh, it's just a bit of fun. Um, dog fish. Target today. I'm going for place. Hello. But if any of these turn up, it will be a bonus. Then we can get them into the species hunt as well. Uh, I'm just going to take the hooks out of the fish and get them back into the water. And then we'll spin the camera around and we can show you uh, where we are and uh, what it's looking like. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get started. Just get started. Just get started. Right, just get his back in the water quick. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm colouring in something. <laughs> Hello Stephen mate, how you doing? You alright? Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. So what Dad's doing is using some worms to bait up the rig. You know what worms are man, you know what worms are. Afternoon Stephen, hello mate, how you doing? My Hi, friend holds Steven. worms. Yeah, do you want a worm? No! <laughs> are they alive? No. Good. <laughs> so I'm, I'm here with the kids today, uh, brought them onto the beach. Hello. Just to uh, get them out into the fresh air. Um, hopefully, it won't be too much of a pain in the bum. <laughs> but uh, they're here, <laughs> so we'll have to plug through it. Um, yeah. Rig I'm using today is I've got um, a couple of two, a couple of a couple of single hook clip downs. Uh, just to try and get them out as far as I can. Um, with some different moon. Uh, two hook rig for the girls, um, which is a two hook Portsmouth flute rig, which is here. And they've chosen their uh, different colour bits yeah. and pieces on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mine. Mine's green and pink. Mine's My favourite colours. Orange. Cool. Right, so Dad's just setting up I the like last bits of the rigs. Are you? Once everything's set up yeah. and ready to go, we will crack it out there. Uh, we've got yeah. a whole different load of baits today. We've got uh, lugworm here, we've got squid, uh, mackerel, bluey, you name it, it's in there. A razor fish. So we're going to have a big, big good go and a big mess around. Um, and then see what happens. I'm just going to put this rig on the tripod. Olivia! <laughs> hello. Hello, hello, hello. Right, so I'll flip you guys round um, and then we will show you what we've got. Actually, I can use it on this side actually. Just set that up like that. Rods are there, ready to go. Um, actually, I'll go flip it around. Let's flip it around. We'll flip it around and then we'll get ready to go. Yeah. So I've got the kids here with me today. Hello. Hopefully, they won't be, like I said, too much of a pain in the back. So we've got colouring pencils and all sorts of things to keep them entertained and a lot of crisps and chocolate. So hopefully, they will just. Be sensible. Hi, Jack. Hi, um, Jack. Hello. I am not using a braid shock leader, no. I'm just using, using a standard mono shock leader. Um, I've got Berkeley 24 pound fire line on both reels with a tapered ASO shock leader. I think it's up to 60 pounds, I think it is. Um, we'll flip the camera around to show you guys you know, what's happening and then we'll cast the bait out yeah. and then we'll carry on from there. So we've yeah. had a couple of whiting to start the session, it's not it's too bad. It's starting to get sunny now. It's starting to get sunny now, yeah. the tide's starting to move a little bit. When we got down here, it was flat as a pancake. <laughs> yeah! Absolutely flat. And so we've got rolling leads on as well, and we're just going to give it a go and see what happens. So I'm going to flip you around and show you the rods, and let's cast out. Get that into a good position. Let's 
just set that up just so everyone can see. So, there's the rods there. And uh, we're just gonna, just gonna cast the second rod out now. You guys are on the, uh, the girls are on the, on the right hand side, I'm on the left. Well, what I'll do in a minute is I'll just move the tripod a bit forward so we can get the, the tripod in the in the shot. Uh, I'm just rebaiting my rig at the moment. Just on the worm tip of squid. Grey's Angler, we've had a couple of... Uh, welcome. Um, I only really do an overhead cast, really. Um, I, feel, I just find it easier for me, to be fair. I tried an uh, off the ground cast, but don't really feel comfortable with it. So, overhead cast is the one for me. It's a nice overhead thump. I feel I can get get all right distance with it, and it seems to it seems to just work work for me at the moment. Like I say I will learn um, to do. I want to learn how to do pendulum casting and bits and pieces, I mean, but that will obviously come with more experience and more time. Sorry I'm on late today, it's been an absolute nightmare. Um, I've tried to wait for the tide to come up as high as I could possibly can. Uh, there's been quite a lot of dog walkers and things and pieces about, uh, just cutting in front of the lines and so on and so forth. I'm not one to usually mind, but today's been a bit of a bit of a pee take. Um, but you know, everyone's entitled to use the beach. I tried to come somewhere today where you know I thought there's not going to be many people uh, and there's bloody dog walkers everywhere. Doggies! <laughs> Hoping that tide don't come up there anymore because uh, I think I have to move the tent otherwise. Alright, crack that one.
Mars coming in that one, but it's just a different one. Fish alive! Fish alive! Fish alive! Fish alive! Fish alive! Little white in there, nothing of size, just little pin white, so we're getting back in. Yay! So I'm just going to let the girls' rod develop a little bit more. That's the right hand side one. And uh, we'll see what happens on there. And to one side, that'll have them in a minute. I'm just going to re do this rig. No swimmers at the moment, mate. Just a ton of dog, walk dog walkers. I've got nothing against dog walkers, you know, everyone can use the beach. And, but I mean. When they're walking in front of your lines and so on and so forth, it is a bit inconsiderate. I mean, uh, you know, some of the people will say, can I walk in front of your lines? And I'm like, oh, you know, it's a free beach, you can do what you want. But, you know, who, who am I to judge? You do what you do, what you want. as long as you don't knock the rod off the tripod, I don't really care. <laughs> We've got some more people coming across now. I said, that's why I tried to leave the live um, for a bit later, so I can close the gap between me and the sea. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the backside. So I'm just getting the lug back on. If you are watching any local guys, please don't come and try and find us. Uh, we are trying to you know, distance ourselves and you know, stay away from people as much as we can. Are we right to go under? You can, mate, yeah. Yeah, just watch your heads. Right, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't feel like swimming today. <laughs> Uh, a couple of whiten at the moment, mate. That's all they ever hear of is whiten. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> See, guys, exactly what I mean. Exactly what I mean. I'm sorry to hear you locked down in London. I'm really sorry to hear that, mate. Hopefully, you can get back out soon. Uh, hopefully. These little videos I'm doing, uh, you know, maybe what, what I'm, I'm not going to go too much. Just going to go maybe once a week, uh, just to, you know, try try and get some videos out there for everybody. So uh, hopefully we can get, you know, get people watching fishing at least if they can't go fishing. Cheers, mate. Yeah, I've been blessed today. It's a really nice day. I was looking at the forecast yesterday. It was absolutely horrible. Uh, we weren't planning to go yesterday. But it was absolutely diabolical. It was raining and everything. It was raining and everything, man, as the kids yeah. have just said. Yeah. Absolutely diabolical. Uh, I'm just going to try and pull the camera back so I can see if I can try and get 
be a better shot. I might even put the rods forward a bit. Uh, I'm not too sure at the moment. We just need to see how far the tide comes up. I ain't got much space behind me in the tent. <laughs> it's a bit windy as well. Let's try and see if we can... If it gets a bit blowy, guys, let me know. Because obviously I don't, I don't want you sitting there watching it and it's all blowy. Um, oh, that's better. Maybe there. You can see the tops of the tips, maybe. Let's put that a bit forward. Well, guys, hopefully that's a bit better for you guys, um, and you can you know, see a bit more there. So that's where we are. It's a, like I say, it's a really nice day. Just you know, waiting for the fish, really. Story of my life. <laughs> Show you that in position. There we go. That's a bit better. Stephen, the rules I'm using, mate, are the. Um, are the Utopia reels. Uh, so they're both Utopia rods, uh, both Utopia reels, both from Akios. I absolutely love the Akios stuff at the moment. I can't get enough of it. Oh, shit, it's got some chocolate in the kids. Someone's nibbled the top of that. Olivia! Have you? Blimey. Do them on chocolate already. The target today is place. That is the target. A plate. <laughs> Hi Stuart, I'll grab a ring and show you now mate. Um, give me a sec. <laughs> well, I hope you can see it, I'm not, I'm not too close to the camera because the camera's around the other way. It's just a simple, really simple rig this is. Uh, it's just a single hook clip down. Stop knots there. Uh, no beads, just swivel, straight swivel, uh, down to some moon glows, uh, and then a worm and some squid at the bottom with a roll of lead. That's the rig. <laughs> On the other rod, we're using a uh, Portsmouth loop rig. Hi, the salty sea dog. Hi, there. Here you go. There's another one. Alright, thanks. Yeah, so on the other rod, we're using a Portsmouth flute rig, which is what the girls have got on, uh, which is on the right hand side. Um, both of them, same uh, size hooks, uh, twos. Um, both of them quite far out, I'd say, you know, quite a, a distance. And we're just, you know, going to see what happens. Did you get the Akios Fury FX 420 or 4.2? The Irish Angler, I've had the 4.2s. Um, I really, really liked them. Uh, they're, you know, they're great rods. Um, the only thing I found that quite a lot of people have said also, left hand rods started twitching now, um, is that the, the tip of the Fury is really, really thin. Um, I think Akios have actually released a statement saying they're going to bring out some stiffer tips for it. So I don't know if that's going to affect the actual rod performance itself. But, you know, I'm keen to see that. Um, I actually traded mine it back in for the, for the Utopias. Um, just you know, personal preference. There's nothing wrong with the Furies. Um, I just you know wanted to make that leap up to the you know the next price bracket of rods. Really, to be fair, um, I had the opportunity to do so, so I took it. Um, but my missus actually got me a Fury 15 foot for Christmas, uh, so I'm going to get that back out. Um, you know, once things get going again, and you know once everything's good, and I can get some night sessions, I'll get that out and my, I'll make. High tide's at 2 o'clock, so I don't actually know what the time is at the moment. Does anyone know what the time is? Um, no, because we don't have our phone. I don't, obviously, because I'm on the, on the live, I can't actually see the time, so if anyone knows what the time is, English GNT, let me know. <laughs> I think it's about, must be about 1 o'clock. 
Twelve thirty, but yeah, that's good. I think I think we might end up moving back, girls. If it's twelve thirty now and the tide's out, we might have to move back again. Yeah, I highly recommend Akios rods. I've used quite a lot of them. Uh, the Hellraiser rods are used and abused all around the cliff marks, um, around Berlin Gap and Eastbourne. It's an absolutely fantastic rod. Um, really, really great bit of kit. Uh, then obviously the Furies come out, so I wanted to have a guy on them, so I changed to them. Uh, again, the Furies are really good. I like them. Cast really far of them. They look really nice. Um, oh, right hand rod's having a bit of a wiggle. Oh, that's your rod, girls. That's your rod. It's having a wiggle. This is better than the last life, Jesus. Um, yeah, and then I've moved to the Utopias. Um, the Utopias are absolutely awesome. And I'm not just I'm not just saying that, you know, because they're my rods. They are they, they are absolutely awesome. They're, on the cast, they're stiff all the way through. They've got fantastic bite detection. Um, really, really, really great. Paired with the uh, the new Utopia reels, just I can pick the whole tripod up, and it doesn't even feel like I'm moving nothing. Yeah, Gary, it's quite nice, mate. It's nice and calm. Uh, like I said, I've had a couple of whiting out so far, um, but we're kind of looking for, uh, on the list, for the twitchy tip species hunt, which is a local species hunt, um, dogfish, rays, dabs, and congreels. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any congreels out today. Um, might get the odd dogfish. Rays are pretty much off the cards. So dogfish and dabs, possibly. Um, I mean, for the, for the first hour or so I might off with the squid uh, and just see how see how we get on. But yeah I really want a place a nice place to start the year would be great. Obviously obviously if, if I had it my way um, I would be travelling over to Seaford today to fish for the place because uh, the weather's like this. Oh left hand rod's having another twitch as well. I'll have to pick that in a minute. Ooh. Yeah that's my rod. <laughs> After yeah I'm gonna have a go at that in a minute. But yeah if I had it my way I'll be travelling to Seaford today if, if we could travel but obviously you can't travel. No, no shop. A guy from Ireland that sells ninety percent Akios gear. Yeah, what shop is that? If you're watching, guys, please hit the thumbs up. It really, really helped me out. Um, oh, that, that, that rod's going, man. I'm having that rod in a sec. Left hand rod. Um, you know, if you, if you do want to donate, guys, uh, what, I'm, what I'm doing at the moment is I've got uh, super stickers and so on and so forth. I don't know if you can see them. Um, and also, um, there's a PayPal link as well in the description. So if you want to donate. Um, donations are actually going to go to the RNLI. Um, like I said, if that's something that interests anyone. Uh, I've had quite a lot of people messaging me asking me, you know, uh, will I set it up? I have set it up. If you want to donate, we will get. Uh, most of the donation will go over to the RNLI, and a little bit will help me out for bait um, going forward. Ants, I bet you are, mate. Yeah. Right, I'm going to pull in that left hand rod because it looks pretty promising. Uh, I don't really want to leave it. If it's obviously having a wiggle, I'll, I'll rather try and you know, get the fish. Oh, yeah, it's definitely having a wiggle. Let's have that one. Right, well, you guys get a real next one then. Oh, that's another white. Oh. Another white, man. I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh, guys, there's another little white in there. So you're getting back in. Another little white. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Daddy's yeah. gonna leave now. No, we are. No, we, we had two. two. Daddy had three, I think. No, you had one. Daddy? Oh, right, you're going to put it like that now, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Back out and then we'll have a look at your one, guys. I'm always saying... Oh, there's a 
I'm going to bait this rig up quick right, and then I'm going to get you guys to build an next one, alright? <laughs> Cheers Irish Angler, thanks mate, I really appreciate that. Uh, Undulate Rays, don't think so really, I think you're getting more towards Brighton Way. <laughs> Peter, I know, mate, I know. I haven't been out for so long, Peter. You know, I've been I'm in an iron whether or not to go out, whether it's justifiable to go out. We've obviously what's going on and that. I've tried to come to, you know, somewhere where I think it's going to be you know, quiet with not many people. Um, you know, it's just, I do feel a bit an anxious about being out, but, you know, it is what it is, really. Uh, the, the law says, you, you know, you, you can go out, obviously you're abiding by the social distancing and so on and so forth. I'm not going to take the Michael, you know, I'm not going to go out every day. Um, you know, I'm just going to go out once a week just to keep, you know, the channel ticking over and keep things ticking over, really. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, take the biscuit. Irish Angler, yeah, sure, drop the channel in there, mate. Drop it in. <laughs> We're all here to help everyone out, really. You know, I don't, I don't see no, no reason why you can't drop your channel link in there. I mean, obviously, if it starts going mental and everyone starts dropping channel links, then, you know, it's a bit of a bit of a, bit of a pee take. But, you know, if you want to drop your channel link and other people can, you know, Cheers mate, I hope you have a really good day. Yeah, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a fantastic day. And hopefully you can catch up with the rest of it when it goes um when it goes up a bit a bit later on. Who is that? Just someone on there. Jack, I'm not gonna let anyone know where I am, mate. I'm not gonna let anyone know where I am. I don't want people to come down. Um, you know, I don't want to be an advertisement and tell people where I am really. Uh, cheers, Ant. Irish Angler, come and join my uh, Facebook group, UK and Ireland Sea Anglers. We should be able to help you out, mate. Can we go play? Huh? Can we go play? Not, no, not really. I, you guys kind of need to stay with me, really, because you know, there's people people are walking around. I don't want, I don't want to mix with anyone else, really. Peter, I will be doing more lives, mate. I will. Yeah, Irish Angler, flip your link in the um, in the in the Facebook group. They've got a big following in there now. You should be able to get some uh, some subscriptions from there. All left hand rods going again. Got a liking Dad's rod today. I've got to pull your rod in, guys. Nice one, Jack. What 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 have you had? Thirty five centimeter what, mate? White in place, Dab. Uh, yeah, you can read it in, guys. Just gonna let the kids reel reel their, reel their rod in quick. But all you say, they'll let it do that.
So Olivia has one whiting, which is there. And uh, she lost some of her hair in the reel, which I had to get out, which is a bit of pain in the back side. <laughs> Daddy, look what I found. Look what type of stone I found. Daddy, look. I found it. Oh, that's cool. Do you want to put it back in? I want to. No. Put it back in the no, Dad will put it back in really quick. Left hand rose going, left hand rose going. <laughs> Ain't got enough time to bait up at the moment. Should really get the left hand rose. People are going to be shouting at me. Where's your colouring books and stuff? Do, your color, do me a picture in your colouring book. I want to do it on a stone. Yeah, do it on a stone. Oh, Dad's going to switch the rods around a bit, but you want to switch it quite far. My one switched it quite far. So let's put it around that side. You'll leave that there for one second and then we'll roll that in. Pass it around
check those real quick. Daddy, look! I did a fishy! Oh, good woman. Daddy, I made this stone Going back for the comments, guys. So I do apologise if I missed anything. Uh, oh, nice one, Jack. Well done, mate. That's cool. You missed us. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, obviously, as you saw in the video, I missed cast there. Uh, when I was letting Olivia reel in, I got some of her hair caught in the reel. Um, so I've tried to back that back out. It's a bit of a schoolboy error, really. But uh, I might have to have a go with that later and try and get. I think I've got most of it out. But there's still a little bit in there, so. Pain in the backside, especially when it's on bloody fire line braid. Right. Oh, right hand rod's going again now. I don't know, that's just the tide pool though. The tide's creeping up quite a lot. Just waiting for that, that knock. Going for a big bit of squid for my next cast. Instead of a worm, just fed onto the hook like that. And a single hook clip down. Cheers, Valerie. Thanks very much. What hand? Daniel, I'd say it's um, it's more of like an intermediary rod. Uh, I wouldn't class it really as like a, a match rod. It can handle big fish, but I mean, if you want a match rod, I'd probably say go for a stiffer rod uh, if, if, you, if you possibly can. Much stiffer. Yeah, so far today, just had a couple of whiting, like we said. Um, you know, but we're out, we're having some fun. Hopefully everyone else will stay away from us, and we can just do our own thing, really. I uh, did feel sorry for the guy that walked past. He looked pretty inquisitive, wanted to have a chat, but you know, don't want him to get too close to us. Safety is paramount.
just want to do our own thing really today. I don't, I don't want everyone coming up to me saying, oh, hello, you all right? Hello, you all right? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nice person, but, <laughs> you know, don't want to... No, not, not when things are going on like this. All right, girls, do you fancy a cup of tea? Yeah! All right, come on, let's have a cup of tea. But I don't want to cold up last time. Don't they cold up last time? We had a cold one last time. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's freezing cold. She didn't be cold, it's really hot. Really? Oh. You left it out probably too long. Oh, that's a spit on Again, girls. Oh, that left one's gone there. Whoa, that went big. Go on, one more. Go one more. Go one more. Go one more. Yeah, we're having it. I don't usually swear, but effing hell, man, people are thick as, thick as anything. Walk in front of me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, uh. Joy's a sea fishing, eh? Joy's a sea fishing. Can you put this in the bucket for you? I'm white and so far at the minute. Yeah. Can I go?
I'm just going to try some squid, um, a bit of squid and a bit of worm, squid on one hook, worm on the other, see if we have any, any joy with that. Nine times out of ten I usually take a beach tent with me, um, it's, no, it's not because, you know, of the, of the wind as such, but it's because so many people and, and dogs, and Jesus. Obviously, if you've got everything in a tent, you know, there's only one entrance they can come in the front. And uh, just keeps everything a bit more tidy, to be fair. But yeah, um, I've got nothing against dog walkers, but I mean, Jesus, today's been a bloody nightmare. It's not difficult to walk behind someone, is it? That's my daily gripe, my daily gripe. Good afternoon Andy, how are you doing mate, you alright? Good afternoon. Good afternoon We've got an hour left of the high tide, so we're going to fish, fish the high tide up. Hi Amanda, how are you doing? Cheers for joining. Hello. Cheers for joining. Cheers. I've got to get some moderators on these chats as well, so if anyone wants to be a moderator, let me know uh, in the live chat. Um, and I will make you up a moderator. Um, I don't really know what moderators do to be fair, but um, it's probably you know good to have some. <laughs> so if anyone wants to be a moderator, let me know, and I will sort that out. I'll look back through the live chat and uh, and sort that all out. Um, it would be handy having a couple of people just you know keep an eye over things. Cheers, Jay. Cheers, Jamie. I'll have to have a look into it um, and try and sort it all out. I'm not really too up with how things work and so on and so forth. I love the rest of your tea. Oh, well, yeah, cheers, mate. Or <laughs> well, you don't want it either? No. Don't you want it? Double tea. Bubble, bubble. Double bubble. I don't have sugar in it. Who wants a tea with sugar in it? Is there any more crisps stuff you can have in the back? There's crisps. Yeah, have some crisps then. I'll get you some. I don't want any, you guys can have some. <laughs> Amanda, come on, you know you want to. I think we might have to move back guys, we've got to come up quite fast. Why is the sea so big? And wide. Cheers Ant, that's really, really, really kind of you mate. Um, I mean, if a man and Valerie want to, um, I'll be more than happy. Um, it would take a lot of pressure off me. I know, I feel, I feel with some uh, words, you know, that people can't use. But uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Andrew, I think that's a bit, that's a bit overboard, mate. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to set the pain. with more of a pain in the backside. Cheers, Jamie. Well, Amanda, if you want to be a mod, let me know and I'll sort it out. That'd be cool. Uh, also, Valerie, if you want to be a mod, let me know and I'll sort it out um, as well. It will be handy to have. Hi. Hi, Daddy. Hello, mate, you right? Yeah. yeah. Are you? I'm good. I think we might have to move back, guys. I hate to say it. 
also I think we need to change over to a bigger bait. I think we might get one big bait out and one small bait now. We've had a couple of white and let's go for something big. Right guys, I'm going to leave you here on the tripod for a minute uh, and I'm going to move the tent back and everything and I'll come back to you in a sec. Um, but all, if, if there's any rubbish, all goes in. All goes in the bag. Put a couple of stones in there so you don't lose it. All right. If you find any rubbish on the beach, put it in the bag as well. All right, Dad's just gonna. I'm just gonna move the tripod back. It might get a bit windy. So obviously the wind's um, in the tent. Uh, the tent's breaking the wind a little bit. But I want to move this this tent back so I don't get cut off by the tide on the live. So give us a sec. All right, leave it all out of the tent, please, mate. All right. Well, you guys go and sit over there for a minute. Right. Dad'll move everything back and then we'll all get back in. All right. Give me one second guys and I'll be back with you. Right, I'm just going to move you guys back. See here. And then we'll get the tripods back. Right guys, hopefully you can still see that from there. What I'm going to do is going to rig up a big bait rig. A pulley rig or something like that. A couple of squid on the side. I just want to change that over in place of one of the other rods. What you got, mate? It's a ball stone. That's cool. It's a really cool one. So we've got left hand rods going now. It's a bit of a busy session. I mean, the last live was pants. This one's been not too bad to be fair. I mean, it's, it's, it's still whiting, but still catching. You can get it, mate. Okay. And my hat and my it's freezing cold now. Go ahead, then you get them. Just go in. Hello. 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 
I'm just gonna, gonna bait up a bigger bait. I'll flip the camera around and you can, I'll show you how I'm gonna bait up the bigger bait. Thanks. Let's just get rid of this one. Hopefully, I've got some uh, bigger bait rigs on me. I'm warm rig. now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at me. Don't sit on that thing with Olivia, but there. don't go anywhere else. Right guys, so I just flipped you around quick. Um, what I've got is, um, I'm just gonna wrap my rig back up. Girls, girls just stay over here please, just sit on there, all right? Okay, so I used to, I used to you know, throw all the rigs in the bucket, used to get in a massive mess, and then I used to get home and spend hours and hours and hours untangling everything and cutting off all the components. So uh, this is just a bit of a uh, pipe tubing. It's really, really handy. You can get it from a tool station or so on and so forth. And then you get about two meters for about five quid. Um, I just cut it down to size. So what I do is just get the end of the uh, swivel at the top of the rig, put it into the uh, little hole like that, and then wrap it round. Wrap it all the way round. The hook then sits into the point, and then the clip just goes in as well. Oop. Well, it usually goes in. Oh, there it is. Goes back into the slit as well. And then that all sits on there nice and tidily. When I get home, dunk that into a bowl of water. Um, and then, you know, you can decant the hook and so on and so forth. Um, and it doesn't tangle up everywhere. Just a little quick tip. So the next rig I'm going to be using is, if I can find it, in my bag. Not very organised, as you can see. I don't even know where the rig's at. Oh, there's my rig wallet. Get everything out from there if you need Alright, there's my rig wallet. It's here. Here's my blanket piece. Okay, mate. Just gonna go for a simple trident tackle pulley rig um, using trident tackle components. Um, I mean, there's loads of those bits and pieces on my channel about trying tackle. If I can find a snoop with a single hook. I'll get it all together and I'll show you what we're going to do. Right, so I've got a separate hook snooze there, all wrapped up, ready to go. I've got my try and tackle panel rig here. Arrow pulley at the top, really simple. And then we've got the uh, terminix at the bottom. So you just take your snood. The terminal, like so, you can. I mean, you can have loads and loads of baited up snoods. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find our rotary bait. 
Okay, clips. If I can find them. Nice purple one here. Clip the right one to the other end. Or clip the lead on first, then clip the right one. Just go for a rolling lead. Just want that to roll around in the tide, nice big bait. And then we're going to clip that on to the other side. So you've got lead there, arrow pulley in the middle, hook snood on the other side, nice big 4 hook. Right, I'm going to wrap the bait up now. Um, I'll flip the rods around so you can, flip the camera around so you can see um, see the actual rods for a minute. And then when I'm ready to bait up and I'll fill it with the bits and pieces that I need to, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. So there's the rods again. Just going to get my bait ready. Right kids, right play nicely yeah. Right guys, so we're back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is gonna fold the camera right down so you can see my hands, which is here. Ah, and then what we're going to do is we're going to bait up. So we've got our bluey here. That's fine, Dad. I'll sort it out in a minute, guys. Bluey here. I'm going to use a bait mate tray. Um, they're just really handy. Lay the bluey in the bait mate tray, flesh side out. Now I'm just going to take some squid and lay that on top. Um, then I'm just going to just do a little bit of elastic on that just to keep that together. And then I'll introduce the hook. So there you go, that's the bait on there. Introduce the hook, so put the hook straight through the bait there and pitch that at the bottom making sure that's nice and flat inside there. And then we're gonna whip that around a couple of times just to make sure the hook stays in. Pull the line up the bait mate itself. Do a couple of lines around the hook itself and then around the bottom of the hook. And that should be it. Nice little pocket sized bait. Oh, there you see that. So bluey on that side, squid on that side. Let's get it out there and see if we can catch something decent. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little less busy now, isn't it? A lot of people have gone, which is cool. It definitely makes my life a lot easier.
that's your one, huh? <laughs> so Orla's got a fishy on her colour one, which is another yeah. whiting. Yeah. Yeah, well done Orla. Rig in the bucket. Oh, actually, no, we'll not wind the rig back up. Do not chuck the rig, rig in the bucket, Jess. Right on guys, so I'm going to bait up another another um, pulley rig now, so I want to go you know, try something a bit different uh, and go for some fish that are not whiting. Obviously we know the whiting are there, so let's uh, have a play, see if we can find something else. I might use a grip lead on one of these actually, just to see, see what happens. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute, um, obviously in the chat, I'm just trying to get the uh, rigs and bait and everything sorted out. Make sure the kids are not killing each other. I think they're alright, I think they're playing at the moment. This is pretty cool. Right, let's undo this rig. Another terminating. Or another rotor, I should say. I'm going to try one with a grip lead and one with a rolling lead just to see um, if that has any kind of difference on the way it fishes. Uh, obviously the sea, the sea is pretty flat so what I'm kind of thinking is that the one with the, the rolling lead uh, will pick up more fish. Because it will obviously roll into uh, you know bits and pieces and gullies and so on and so forth. So that's my thinking. Again, still the same, bluey and squid. Laid out on the bait, mate. Folding the squid back over and wrapping that together. You are a pain in the backside. You are. Oh, oh, savage. Right, Dad's just whipping up a squid and bluey. That's just doing a blue, blue and squid. All right. Yeah. You put the hook in. I hate fish. Why? <laughs> Jeez, man. Ooh. Can't say things like that on a fishing channel. I apologise for my daughter. Should we go in the cupboard when we get in? Yay! <laughs> I love the cupboard. Go on, go and play. Huh? Right, so. Alright, so there is my squid, um, a bluey on there, nice big four hook. 
you know, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it. So there it is. Let's get it out there and um, play around with the big guns. Just taking off me, um, me other lead. If you're new here guys and you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please do consider it. Um, I've got lots of plans going forward for 2021. Um, so it will be nice to have you on the journey with me. Hello daddy. Right, all the gunplay. Right, I'm just going to cast this one out now guys. Loads of white in today. Absolutely. Another white in there for all Just a uh, yeah. lip hooked. Just come down and people won't be able to see you up there. You see? Ah. There you go. So another white in for all Let's get him back in. Another rig to wrap up there. The fish is gone. It's gone back in the sea, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. Are you going to reel in yours? No, I'm going to put that one over to this side. It's got a rolling lead on. Yeah. And then I'm going to cast another one out on the other side. Alright. Okay, so this one here is your one. Is it? Yeah, it's your new one now. Yay. And this one here is Dad's one, right? Come sit down here for a minute, we'll have another drink. Goodbye, Daddy. Where are you going? Play. Okay, mate, yeah, no problem. So what I'm doing now is I'm just wrapping back up my Portsmouth loop rig so I don't have to untangle it when I get home. I don't think I'll be using it again today. Um, no. Ooh, ow, ow. What? Nothing. Something silly. 
Right, so rig's all wrapped up on the uh, nice little bit of insulation bit of tube. Um, one. Beach got quiet now, so I've let the kids um, play a little bit. Um, we'll see when there's, when there's a lot of people around. I'll try to keep them inside inside the tent. The people walking dogs and so on and so forth, so you know they're not mixing around. And that bit is hard work. But you know, we're all out having fun, that's the main thing. Right, so let's try and get... That's it, that's it, right. So I'm just going to wrap up some more plates. Just with the leftover bits that I've got. Squid faces on there, or squid tentacles. <laughs> Thought I'd lost the bait last year, then. Oh, jeez, man. Another little bait there, just messing around with. Uh, that one is a squid and bluey. Just there. Just mixing them up. Just making some little baits up, just so I don't have to mess around. You know, in making them up when the when the rods come back in, I can just bait them back up and cast them back out. I've got a little bit of lug left over. Really cool, man. I like that. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Put it in the bucket, man. Oh, cool. I was going to come back through the chat and just have a quick look just to make sure I haven't missed anything out. Uh, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Right. Amanda, I do have two daughters. I do. Olivia and Orla. Actually, I have three daughters. I have Olivia, Orla, two sons, Harry and Alfie. So, yeah, a big family. Yeah, Peter, it's a bit of hard work, man. My, my missus is doing homeschooling and stuff, and it's, uh, you know, it's quite difficult for her. <laughs> Andy, this beach is not a bad beach, actually, mate. I've had some quite nice fish from here. Um, when I caught those codlin was from here as well, so it's, it's, it's a pretty good beach. So I'm not going to let everyone know where I am at the moment. Uh, at the end of the session, I'll spin it round, spin the camera round, and I'll show everyone where we are. Um, but you know, just for the, the sake of the live and just to you know, try and keep people you know, not, not coming down and approaching us, um, I'm not going to give away where we are at the moment, I'm afraid. Uh, but I mean, the, the locals will know where we are. But you know, just, just oh, that rod had a nice twitch there. Yeah, left hand rod's having a nice twitch there. That's on the bluey and squid wrap. I'm not going to strike too early with this actually, I'm going to wait for it and let it develop. Um, I'm just going to hold fire on that and wait, wait, see that, see if that actually develops. 
Um, don't want to miss bites. Oh, Andy, right, sorry, mate. <laughs> The kids are pretty happy at the moment. They're playing the floor is lava. I, I'm guessing that's a, a weird game, um, which I you know I'm not that I'm not really too much down with the kids, but I'm pretty sure I will end up playing it at some point. Just waiting for that big, big, you know, that, that big nudge on the rod. A while left. Um, you know, we're gonna gonna give it a good go and maybe fish a bit the tide down as well. You know, I might have to connect to a power bank now, getting a bit low on battery here. Yeah? Uh, power bank on. Uh, we're just going to fish a bit of the tide down, guys, okay. and then we will go. Two, three more out. We'll wait and see. Dad's trying to get the big fish. You guys want to come sit in here for a minute and have a cup yeah. of tea or something? Having you having fun? I'll have a cup of tea in a okay, mate, that sounds cool. Well, guys, I'm going to have a cup of tea. Okay. I'm going to have a cup of tea. Anyone else want a cup of tea? No. You guys eating all the sweets and stuff, yeah? Yeah, they're all gone. Oh, man. <laughs> Didn't even save me anything. Yeah, yeah. they did. We saved them four. Then I nibbled on the other one. <laughs> well, hop in then, if you're coming in. No. No, I'll go to our Okay. <laughs> Just stay where I can see you, yeah? Don't go behind the tent. Out of this one, so she get, get me, gave me this t shirt. Oh, that's cool. I'm just waiting for the rods to go. Yeah.
That's your tea done. Nice cup of tea that was. Wait for one of them rods to go. Got to be a dogfish or something out there, lurking around, having a you know munch around. Even the white and they're not taking the uh, the bait. Wait and see what happens, I suppose. I don't think I can add mods at the moment, it's not giving me the option, but um, I will go back through the live chat and I will try and do it at some point. Oh, there we go. I think that is that. I think that works. Man, if you don't want to be a mod, let me know. <laughs> but yeah, I think I've just added you as a mod. <laughs> I have to go back through and have a look through the other ones as well. Just waiting for the one rod to go big. Some squid as well, yeah. It's gonna make a squid. Squid bait. Just trying to use the last bits of my bait up. Okay, mate. Keep an eye on it, yeah. Um, today, should I say. I was going to go tonight on my own, um, but the girls said they wanted to come, so they're here. <laughs> it's different when you're doing it, uh, you know, when you're doing an actual video with them, because you can edit out the bits that they're being a bit of a pain in the backside in, but uh, yeah, when you do it live, it's, uh, it's, it's constant. <laughs> so I do apologise, but you know, I'm just getting our fresh air for the day, really. Valerie, I think I've added you as moderator as well, if that's alright. I'm a bit new to all this live stuff. Right guys, is, oh, <laughs> look at my state of my hair. Right, so I'm back. Right, uh, this is my next bait that's going out, it's a whole squid. I've just laid it on the bait mate tray just to wrap it up quick. Uh, and give it a go. So uh, yeah, that's what it is. Just slide it off the tray, nice and easy. Doing. Got the nice big flappy bit at the bottom there, all the dangles coming out. Um, and then there's out, and hopefully we'll be able to catch something on them. Um, blue and squid wrap, don't think it's happening at the moment, so we're going to change one over in a minute. Just using the rest of my squid in the actual tray itself. Girls, be careful, yeah? Oh. Well, I've got quite a lot of these little baby squids. So, can I wrap them into one big bait, uh, is the question. Oh my goodness, this is going to be messy. Right, so what I'm doing now is wrapping up my little bits of baby squid to try and make a bigger squid bait. 
guys, no, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Come on, All right? It's a bit too much. Okay, right, yeah, I think I've got that nice big squid. Wow, what is that? This is some squid. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come and learn something? Pardon? Do you want to come and learn something? I'm standing here. Right, there you go, there's another squid. Um, just, yeah. you know, just trying to... I'm going to bring in these rigs, I'm going to cut off the old bait, uh, and then we're going to flip over with the, squ with the squid and see how we get on with that. Thanks, Amanda, and thanks, Valerie. Like I said, I don't even know what mods do, but, you know, <laughs> if everyone else is recommending you, then, you know, welcome. And uh, cheers for helping me out. Uh, you know, I just want to share my fishing with everyone else. Uh, and, uh, you know, get them along on the journey. So, yeah, cheers, guys. Really do appreciate the support. Right, let's get us bringing these, uh, these baits, and we'll cut them off and see if we can try and get something on the squid bait. Try to find my scissors first. There we go. So I just brought the bait back into the uh, into the tent, and I've just realised I've left my scissors back on the tripod. She's a bit of schoolboy up. Guys, please don't jump off there. Okay, come on. You need to be good. All right. You've done really well today. Right. Okay. Put a squid on here. I want to watch. Is right, that come sticky sit down. squid? Come sit down. Is that sticky squid? Yeah, it's sticky, yeah. Um, you alright? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm watching Daddy first. And do not touch the hooks because they're very sharp. They are, mate, yeah. You and kids touch the hooks. aren't allowed to touch them. They aren't. The um, parents are supposed to do the bait. Yeah. Too dangerous. I thought you were right to start a wiggle then. It's pulling a little bit, went. We're at the top of the tide now, so I mean, if, if the fish are there, they're going to be there. If they're not going to be there, they're not going to be there. So no. we have to just have to wait and hopefully see if they the, come back on the feed. The rod went like this sideways and then back upwards. Slow, slow. Can I put this out then, baby baller? Mm. Okay, just to show you the uh, squid then. Uh, that is it all wrapped up on the actual rig itself. Um, just going to throw it out and see how we get on with that. Um, yeah, yeah. Usually I'll put another hook in the top uh, and on, on a pen or maybe a circle hook. But yeah, we're going to see how it goes in just a single hook. I hope my daddy catches a fishy. Oh, I see a bird. 
Daddy! There's a bird next to you! There's a tiny bird! Oh, that, mate? There's I'm a just going to cross this wood out one sec. Oh yeah, look at him, he's awesome. We counted bones. <laughs> There's over 1,000 in the world. Oh, one trillion. I don't even think that's a number. Nothing on that, it's just uh, taking the bottom part. Right, so we're just going to put some more squid on uh, the second rig. And then hopefully we'll try and pick up a dogfish or something. I'm not too sure though. Fishing seems to have gone quiet now. So we're not too sure how it's going to work. Uh. Oh, that's cool. Go and put it back, please. Girls, girls, girls. Come on. Okay. Alright, come sit in the tent now, please. Okay, I said I'm just going to colour. Go and find some things to colour in, I think, okay? I've got one. Come on. Alright. I'll just throw in these last couple of baits out and then we'll think we'll call it a day. Yeah. Okay? We've been out for quite a while, haven't we? Yeah, and I'm freezing. You cold? Yeah. In a minute, mate. One sec. There's my the other squid bait. She's there. Nice dangly bits on the end.
is kind of blue. Look. Not blue anymore. Oh, that's cool. Right. You guys are crazy. Right. Last class of the day. Daddy, look. Yeah, guys, I think we're into the last cast now. Um, it's been a bit of a long one today. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long day. It's a bit of hard work with the kids as well. Uh, so. <laughs> and not quiet. Definitely not quiet. <laughs> Next live we'll do will be a night session. With us? Uh, no, won't be with you guys. Anybody want a drink? Yeah, me, 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 me. I'm definitely having some. It's the best drink ever. With sugar. Yeah, that's right. No sugar. Can I have this with sugar at home? Yeah, when we get home. Who likes it with sugar? Subscribe if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's just got tea everywhere. Daddy. Daddy, is this your Daddy. Yeah, this one's mine. Right, so last ditch attempt then. Uh, two squid baits out, both on poly rigs. One's on a rolling lead, a short cast rolling lead. The other one's on a breakaway grip lead. Uh, I'm just going to see for the last maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> right? for the last 10 minutes if we can try and grab something that isn't a little white oh there you go left hand rod's going my rod's going no it's not daddy's one no it's not daddy's one that's the one that you got if I've learned anything from today it's definitely make sure the kids hair is tied back before they're reeling in the reels didn't even really think about it completely passed my mind 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 hard work. From now on, tying my hair up. So yeah, so now, any time I come fishing with the girls, tie your hair up. Yep. Yeah. Absolute pain in the backside. Trying yeah. to pick hair out of my, my brand new <laughs> Utopia reel was, was, yeah, I know they swore a couple of times, but you know, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Amanda said, can you find a 10 white shells? White? Yeah, in a minute after you finish your tea. Can I leave it to cool down? Huh? Can I leave it to cool down? In a minute, have your tea first. Just chill out. That, le that left rod started to develop then, um, on, on a bite. 10 white stone. Can you actually believe it? Like Mate, he's got the... <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. He's got the whole beach. The whole beach. And he decides to walk straight in front of my tent. Ten stones. Daddy, is it ten shells? <sighs> Some people, man. Some people. Daddy. Everything's happened today, isn't it? What's happened today with that? People going past. People going past the lines, dogs under the lines. Dogs trying to eat the bait and people everywhere. Oh, man. People yeah. keep walking in front of us. So, next time I go fishing, it's going to be, you know. Oh, actually, I can't, I can't even do a night session at the moment. We can do an evening session. It's the Daddy, I don't want any more. <laughs> don't the rest. You just want to find shells, don't you? Yeah, you I do. do. <laughs> kind of. Uh, my lip. Okay, we'll find shells in a minute. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh well, here's what it is, mate. Here's what it is. Daddy, can I wait for this to cool down? Because no. I'll have it for you. Right, don't find me ten shells. Okay.
Hello, Carl. How are we doing? Uh, what we've had so far? Um, we've had a whiten. <laughs> Typical January whiten, mate. Typical January whiten. Ugh. I've gone over to Big Bates now in the hope of a dogfish or something like that. Oh, there you go. There's a nice bite on the left-hand rod. Presumably a whiten. Did try it, did start off the session with going for place, really, to be fair. But well done, Connor. Really. I need to try my one. Can I watch this? I don't know, mate. Put that down. If you don't know what it is, don't pick it up. It looks like. Amanda, Olivia's found her 10 shells, which are here. Yeah. I oh, you it. dropped it. You dropped one. I know, I dropped them all. I'll have to put them down here and pick them up later. Yeah, I'm going to help all of Yeah, so we started fishing out for the. the, the the, I think it's still too early in the in the season really to get any kind of decent numbers of place. Um, I know a couple of guys have had them. Um, my mate Jack said he had one today. Uh, I think he's fishing further uh, down towards Eastbourne Town Centre way. Um, I decided to come a little bit over the other side just to try and you know stay away from the crowds because I know it's going to be quite busy down the other side of Eastbourne. Um, unfortunately, oh that was a nice pull on that there for us. Unfortunately, I'll come down to uh, this side today. And it seems to be really, really busy anyway. So, um, sod's law, isn't it? I have ten shells. You've got ten shells? Wow, what the heck is that? Oh, it's a mussel. That's cool. Yeah, I found it. Oh, well done, mate. All has got ten shells as well. Awesome. Right, Show put your shells over there. I'll take them back later. Right, what I want you guys to do for the last ten minutes is draw me a nice colour and picture. All right? Work right, together, okay? Right, and then I'm going to finish off doing this last little bit. Okay, quickly. You can go. Olivia, quickly. Right, do me a nice colouring picture. I'll work together, okay? And then Dad will finish up doing the last bits and pieces. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've got the Dad, what has my colouring? I'm just waiting for that left-hand rod. I, I, you know, I don't want to pull it too early. It's like a part of a, like, moon. Like a bubble. I know my stickers fell out. Take it back home and see what everyone else thinks it is. Oh, oh, both of us are going now. Oh, uh, have we got another? Yeah. <laughs> I think the white might be back. I think the white might be back. Pecking away like little piranhas. Yeah, so I started the session going for place. That was the idea. Um, we used around about 30-ish worms. Uh, tipped off with little bits of squid um, in the hopes to pick up a place. Um, we didn't get a place, we got quite a lot of white in. Five or six white, I think we've had so far. Seven. Yeah. Seven, even. All have said it's seven. Or oh, Olivia said it's eight. Jeez, man, it keeps ticking up. Yeah, so, I mean, I think now, what's the, what's, what's the tide doing now? Yeah, so it's the top of the tide nearly now. Um, I don't know, we might fish it down a little bit if I can try and keep the kids entertained still. Uh, go back on the worms, I think, and let's see if we can try and pick up something just on the on the slight tide out. Yeah, Jan and February time is really hit and miss at the moment, man. Uh, to be fair, I'm quite surprised that we've had the amount of white we've had. Uh, last couple of weeks has been really... Oh, that was a nice bite. Last couple of weeks has been quite difficult. And um, I know people on my Facebook group and that have uh, not really reported much. It's been a, the odd flounder here and there. Dabs have started to sharp now in Eastbourne, which is quite nice. And then uh, the odd one or two place. So, um, yeah, it's starting to change. Um... You know, things are starting to look up, really. Uh, so, yeah, it's looking we not too bad. We haven't caught any plates. We haven't yet. Dad's going to switch over to worms in a minute for the last, just for a little bit. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. I caught them plates. And then we'll try plates. and catch one more. I right, I'm going to pull in the left-hand rod. I think it's a whiten. It's, it's not... It's a little, little nibble. It's, it's not... Oh, the right-hand rod's going as well now, so... Oh, do you, what do you do? What do you do? Do you pull it? Do you not pull it? It's difficult. It's difficult. A little bit windy as well, getting windy. Right, let's try and find some worms. Make up a worm rig. Don't think we're going to be using any more of that. I'll throw the old onto the baits. Right, so let's get the rig back out. I think we're going to go with the Portsmouth loop rig again. We tried and tested the Portsmouth loop rig. 
Uh, no. I'll make you another one in a minute. Daddy, if you're good. Drinking. If you're good. Okay? Yeah. Uh, just untangling my Portsmouth loop rig, and we've also got a clip down rig, one hook clip down rig. We'll reel both these in, um, and then we'll switch over to the clip down rigs and see if we can try and get our target fish before the end of the session. Or before the girls kill me because we've been out for so long. Let's go with one of them. Go with lug, lug tip with squid again. What's a lug tip? Lug worm with a bit of squid on the bottom. Okay. I think they might be on the tripod. Scissors are on the tripod, so I need to get them in a second. Yeah. Right, I need the scissors. Olivia, can you grab the scissors on the tripod for me? Where are they? In the middle of the tripod, mate. Be careful. Yeah, see, they're just hanging up. Just pull them off. See them? Thanks, mate. Well done. That's good scissor carrying, that is. Uh, put them on Dad's knee. Cheers, mate. You alright? Don't worry, just rub it on Dad's trousers if you do. Right, so I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm just, oh my, man, you see that bird down? I thought it was going to take my lines out. <laughs> oh, yeah, the rod's going, the rod's going, the rod's going, the rod's going. What, what, right, come on. on. Let's try and cut a bit of squid before I have to pick up the rods. <sighs> tip of squid, tip of squid. Stay, 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 stay. Right, so worm baits on, squid on the bottom, squid on the bottom, squid on the bottom, squid on the bottom. Right, so worm baits. Well, you're not going to be a very good fisherman if you don't think it's called a place. It's called a place, man. show you guys the rig we're going back to then. So we're going back to this rig, it's a Portsmouth pulley loop rig. So the arrow pulley at the top of the trident tackle. And you've got the first hook length that clips into the um, cascade there. And the second clips down into the rotor there with a short cast lead on the bottom. So that's what we're going to be using. Uh, lug tip with squid, both baits. Let me just tidy this up quick. Let's just tidy this up quick, guys. Quite a lot of rubbish in it at the moment. Old bait can go in there. Scissors and other bits there. Right. Well, I'm going to pull the rod in. Uh, we're going to get Olivia's pulling the left one, all is pulling the right one. And then we're going to clip them over with the worm baits, throw them back out and see if we can try and catch that last minute place, uh, which is the target of today. <laughs> right, who wants to ruin the first one? Hey! Come hey. on in.
some idiot feeding the birds down there, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. Because now we've got a flock of seagulls flying around. I don't want them flying into my life. So. People are a pain. <laughs> People are a pain in the butt sometimes. <laughs> pain in the butt. down there quick. Right, so I've got some idiot feeding birds uh, down the other side, uh, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. Um, I don't want to put two rods out, which is a bit irresponsible when you're throwing two rods out, and then a bird flies into both lines and tangles everything up. So, uh, a bit annoying, but it is what it is. We've got the one rod out in a minute, just with a lug worm on. I'm uh, just going to try and target some, uh, some last minute place. And I uh, just see how we get on for the last little bit of the session. Um, just gonna wrap up my rigs that I've been using today. Like I said, two hook ports and flute rig. It's been a really good, year, really, really good rig for me this year, actually. That, that two hook ports and flute rig. Really like it. And if you want to make it, I'll say have a look in the description. Uh, not the description. Have a look in the playlist. Portsmouth loop uh, pulley rig. It's a really, really good rig.
don't know if you guys can see all the birds that that guy's feeding. Oh man, so annoying. I like to fish with two rods, but uh, it's just not, not really a good idea at the moment with that amount of birds around. Don't really fancy risking it. Has anyone had a bird fly into the line before? Um, be interested to see if anyone actually has. I had a bird fly into my line before, it was absolutely horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Pulled the rod off the rod rest. Um, it was, you know, I, I cut the line in the end um, and then I, I hand reeled it back in. So I didn't want to, didn't want to, um, you know, didn't want it to damage the, 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 the rod. Uh, lost half a spool of braid. Um, which is hard work. And then when I reeled it in, I, you know, I unhooked the bird and it flew off. So the, the bird was was okay. It was just a bit of a pain in the backside. Swan at Barrack on Tree Harbour. Yeah, not good, mate. Not good. Oh, man. Oh, well, yeah, that left that right hand rod's having some attention now. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be back on the target. Oh, yeah, it's having some nice attention, that is. Some nice wiggles. I think the worm's doing good today. Oh, yeah, it's, it's doing pretty good. I think it's a white to be fair. It's, you know, doesn't really scream out anything else. It's yeah, worm's doing the job today. Worm's doing the job. Yeah, I think we're going to have that. We're going to have that and then maybe switch the rig over to the left hand one and just fish one rod for a minute. Another two there. Not the target fish, but you know, better than the blank really. So yeah, another two whiten. Try and get them on the hook nice and quickly. That was lip hook, so it's quite simple. Two whiten there. Put them in your pocket and we'll have a look later. <laughs> if you're watching guys and haven't subscribed, please consider. We've got loads of things coming up this year. Loads of things. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of lure fishing. Uh, just started to go through my lures at the moment actually for next year. Got some pretty, pretty nice, decent ones. 
uh, which I'll show you guys very shortly on the channel. You alright? What are you doing? Nothing. You bored? No. Oh. <laughs> well, we're just going to do a little bit more and then we're going to go back, okay? This is the last one, okay? Okay, man, this is the last cast. Oh, there we are. This is the last cast, alright? Okay. Last cast. We're getting a bit pestered by the kids at the moment, so uh, this is going to be the last cast, guys. Uh, so we've got the one that's out at the moment and then I'll, I'll sneak another quick one in where they're not looking. And then we'll have to call it a day. I'm just going to try something different on this one. Olivia, come in here please. Right, so the first bit I'm going to try is this one here. Um, I'll flip it around so you guys can see actually. Uh, right, there we go. So this bait here, squid head. Uh, a lot of people turn their nose up at squid head and just throw it away. But it's actually a really good bait. So yeah, squid head on the bottom hook. Uh, and then on the top hook, I might go for another bit of squid actually. I know I've got... Just using up all the leftover little bits that I've got in the... Uh, in the uh, bait bucket. So, uh, I'm just going to feed some squid on here. It's not really great presentation, but it's a piece of squid and it's going to bind it on with a little bit of elastic on the top, maybe. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it as it is. Right, we'll click that down and get that sent out. Dad's going to use this last little bit of bait and then we can skedaddle. You I think the birds are gone, so we'll just try and get this last one out on this rod and we'll just at the same time, yeah? But so the last baits were out. That is it then. Um, Two again. The last couple of baits are out, and that is it. Otherwise, the kids are going to actually kill me probably, and I won't be able to make any more videos for everyone else. <laughs> probably. Right. So put that away. Make sure we've got all the bits with us. We'll pack up after. Knives and everything are whacked away. Right. You alright? You alright, Lola? Yeah, come in then. Wait. Come in, we're just waiting for the last couple of fish and then we will call it a day. Goodbye. You alright? Yeah. You coming in? Bye. Where are you going? Daddy, look at me. Cheers, Stephen, mate. Cheers. Cheers, Ant. Squid heads and some of a bream, top bait. No, oh, that's cool. I've never caught a bream. Cheers, Ant. Thanks for that comment. I really appreciate that, mate.
Uh, how do I do that? Right. Oh, there's a nice pull on that right hand rod then. Whenever I say I'm going to go home, it ends up being pulls on the rod. It's like, I don't want to go home, don't want to go home, don't want to go home, don't want to go home. Oh, man, if I don't go home, the kids are going to actually kill me, and it's nearly three o'clock. So... Is it actually? Yeah, it's half two. Right, we'll see what happens on these two rods, and then I, I, we, we've home. got to call it a day at some point. We've got to call it a day, haven't we? No. And we'll have to do another session soon. Yeah, but it's, it's been good fun today. Really great fun. Super great fun. Hasn't it, Daddy? Super duper. Hasn't it been super duper duper? And I've added you as a moderator. I hope that's alright, mate. Just help me out, you know, in future lives. It'd be really, really good. I would really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, there's definitely a pull on that rod, Orla. Look at that one, look. On the right hand rod. That's your one, isn't it? Should we have a twig on that in a minute then? Yeah, it's We'll just leave it for one more. If it goes again, we'll pull it in. I guarantee you it's another whiting. He's on the whiting, man. He's on the whiting. Oh, that left rod went a bit funny. Oh, it's going again. Oh. Oh. Go on the left rod. with um, you know, moderators and how they work and so on and so forth so you guys have to you know, let me know what they do in that and uh, but yeah I mean it's good it's good if you guys can help me out which would be really good I really appreciate it so cheers right let's have a go then right what do you want to do first girls left or right right yeah I think left might be good Left or right, quick. Left. Let's do left first then. Right, dad pull left. Right. Yeah, definitely left. Oh, right one's moving now. You got a fish, Daddy. I have one in all that. Oh, I thought it would be different. Another one in there for Orla on wait, her that, rig. Wait, what? That's your one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's deep hooked, that one. Uh, let me get the forceps on that quick. Ooh. I think that one's yours. Oh, yeah, that one's Olivia's. She's got pink and orange. Now mine. Oh, I do you think? Orange. I think that white might end up as, uh, as bait, unfortunately, because it's quite deep hooked. Can I get it back? Use the big scissors what's next to you. Yeah, I know, mate. Give me a sec. Oh, we got it. Did we? Yeah, we got it. He's alright. We've got it. He can have your bait. Okay. 
Okay. We've got, we managed to get him back in. The fish is cool. Good. He's gone, man. He's gone. Right. So that rig stays there, and that rod is done. Well, right, just gonna wait for the last rod then. Just give it a little bit more of a wiggle. If it goes game, we'll have it in. And then I think that's gonna be the end of the session, guys. Yeah. Because the kids are getting a bit tired. Yeah. And I want to go on my phone. Oh, fantastic, that's cool. Yeah, we don't want any spammers in here, man. We don't want any spammers. I don't mind the odd occasional uh, uh, YouTube comment drop, because obviously we're all in it together. That's what, you know, we'll help each other out. But, you know, if it goes too mental, then, uh, you know, has to put the band hammer on, guys. Has to put the band hammer on. Right, shall I reel in the last rod then and call it a day? Yeah. Yeah, come on, let's reel in the last rod. I'm tired. Oh, yeah, I'm tired, man. Right, let's have a look. It's been a very long day. It's very tired, guys. I'm very Alright guys, last fish of the session then. Another white. Oh, there's a flapper. One white in. Let's get unhook them quick. Okay. Unhook. Daddy, what's the colours on the rig? Uh, this one's a black and green, I believe. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. yours. Daddy got two. Right then guys, so that is it. Thanks for joining me on the live. I mean, it's not been anything, you know, majorly uh, life-changing, but um, to be out in the fresh air is, you know, it's quite nice. Um, and to, you know, just be back on the beach is quite nice. Obviously, I haven't been out for a couple of weeks um, because obviously what's been happening on and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, no, it's nice to get out. It's nice to get out with the girls. Um, doing the live with them is quite interesting. Um, <laughs> definitely something I'm going to remember for a while. Um, but yeah, it's good fun. It's been good fun. Um, we didn't catch our target, which was placed, but as always, next time. That's what's great about fishing. You can always go next time yeah. and always give it another go. But yeah, we had fun. And we caught some fish. Didn't blank like the last live, which was cool. Um, you had fun? Olivia, you had fun? Yeah? Uh, what other channels do I watch? I watch the Fish Locker. I watch Inglorious Fishing, um, Smash Fishing, uh, Sea Fishing with CJ, Angling Addict 75. Uh, there's loads of fishing channels I watch, absolutely loads. Um, oh yeah, that's cool. Olivia's done a colouring. Uh, Amazing Fishing UK. There's a new channel just started up, Sure, uh, Check him out. He's a nice chap called Brandon, he's lo local to me. Um, and hopefully we're going to be doing some bits and pieces together, um, fishing on the reef down where he lives. So yeah, that's quite exciting. Um, loads and loads of other different things are happening. Um, if you want to catch up with what I'm doing um, outside of YouTube, head over to UK and Ireland Sea Fishing, or UK and Ireland Sea Anglers, um, and you'll be able to see what we're going, what's happening on there and stuff. Uh, I did send Inglorious one of my hats, yep, <laughs> uh, and I sent Smash Fishing one as well. So uh, yeah, until next time, guys, we will see you soon. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers for all your support, and um, bye bye. 
and we will see you next time, yeah? Yeah. Have fun, Olivia. You say bye to everybody? Bye. I think Olivia's hiding. Thank Olivia, come over here. She's tired. She's tired. Yeah. Right, cheers, guys. Thanks very much. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.